Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you this quick party look which you can wear anywhere. Stay tuned to know more. I'm going to go in with my Born This Way foundation in light beige and spread it all over my face using a flat brush. And I'm done. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm going to blend this out using my beauty blend. I usually do tapping motions to make sure that my base is flawlessly and perfectly blended. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer, Naked Skin Concealer in medium and make small triangles under my eye to make sure that the concealer does not get too heavy. I apply some on the bridge of my nose, my cupid bow, under my lip, my chin and the eyebrows for that sharp look and in the middle of my forehead later. And I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend this all out. The reason I love a beauty blender is because it removes any excess makeup and gives your foundation and a concealer a very natural finish. I set my base using a translucent powder, again doing dabbing motions using a powdered brush. For my eyes, I'm going to be using my mineralized skin finish by MAC called Naturally Enhanced and going with the orange tone. I'm going to just place it onto my lids using a fluffy brush and start blending it as I go outwards. I usually do circular motions to make sure I get a brilliant blend. I love using my fingers to blend. Nothing blends better than your own fingers. Going in with a slightly pinkish tone, I'm going to place it into my crease to create some depth. It's a very slight change, but if you notice, my eyes start giving that 3D high definition effect instantly just by adding a little darker color onto my crease. Going with a darker brown from the palette, I'm going to place it as close as I can to the lash line to create further depth. I'm going to use the pinkish tone and apply it closer to my lower lash line to give it a smoky look but something soft. And once I have achieved that look, I'm going to go in with my MAC Coffee Kajal which is a nice dark brown kajal to add some definition to my eye. Moving on to our star product, the Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick in Radiant. I'm using the darkest color and placing it on my lids. It's actually a highlighter, so hence the shimmery effect. But I love it so much that I ended up using it on my eyes. It's highly pigmented and a brilliant product. I'm going to go in with a lighter shade from the highlighter and add it to my brow bone. looks good. Time to perk up those lashes. I'm using my Euro Paris lashes and this is how they look. For my contour, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D palette and use the lighter shade and apply it to my hollows of my cheeks. 
I again use circular motions to create a perfect blend. Onto my jawline to create those fake jawline and contouring my nose using a flat brush. Again, I will end up using my fingers to get a complete blend. Just keep watching. Here I go. Damn, I forgot to do my eyebrows. But with the Maybelline Bro Crayon, it is super easy, super quick. It keeps your eyebrow in place and fills them giving a natural flawless look. Okay, moving on to the face then. I'm gonna go in with a light pink and a coral mix just to add some warmth to my face. I don't apply too much blush, I just apply blush to give my face some color. Back to the star product. I'm gonna highlight using the same shimmer brick but obviously a lighter color. On my cupid bow to enhance my lips. Look at that glow. Onto my cheekbones to give that shine and a glowy skin. Bridge of my nose. And that's it about. Going in with my Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Devotion. I'm gonna apply this color to my lips but with very light hands. I'm not going to get a lot of color onto my lips because I'm looking for something very natural. So this was it. Please do let me know what you think of this. Comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye.